Hey everyone, it's First Chapter Friday and today's selection is Starfish by Lisa Phipps. And today is National Pug Day. And I chose this book because it fits into, um, it has a pug in it and the author Lisa Phipps used to have a pug. Plus, it also has a theme of bullying in it. So it fits in with Anti-Bullying Month. So this is a, some selections from Starfish by Lisa Phipps. For just a while. I step down into the pool. The water is bath water warm, but feels cool compared to the blisteringly hot air. Kick, glide, stroke, glide, side to side and back again. Dive under the surface, soar to the top, arch my back, flip flop. As soon as I slip into the pool, I am weightless, limitless for just a while. Name calling. Eliana Elizabeth Montgomery Hofstein. That's my name. My bestie Viv and my parents call me Ellie or L. But most people call me Splash or some synonym for whale. Cannonball into a pool, drenching everyone and wear a whale swimsuit to your under the sea birthday party when you're a chubby kid who grows up to be a fat tween and no one will ever let you live it down, ever. Splash is born. Now, whenever I swim, I use the steps to ease into the water, careful not to make waves, because the memory of my pool party plays in my head like a video on a loop. It was my fifth birthday. I wanted to be the first one in, so I ran to the edge and leapt into the air and tucked my knees into my chest. Water sprayed up as I sank down. I bobbled to the surface, expecting cheers for the splashiest cannonball ever. That didn't happen. Splash spawned a tsunami, my sister Anais shouted. She almost emptied the pool, my brother Liam chimed in. I dove under, drowning my tears. Wish I could tell everyone how they made me feel that day. Humiliated, angry, deeply sad. But every time I try to stand up for myself, the words get stuck in my throat like a giant glob of peanut butter. Besides, if they'd even listened, they'd just snap back. If you don't like being teased, lose weight. Belly's dancing. In my backyard, we live streamed the Latin music festival on an outdoor screen as part of Viv's going away party. Viv starts belly dancing like she learned in a class at the Dallas Public Library where her mom was a librarian. I follow her lead and our arms morph into snakes as our hips figure eight. My dog, Gigi, a pug, runs circles around us as we sing at the top of our lungs along with the bands and dance with complete abandon like you do when you're alone in your room trying out some new moves or making up some of your own. Except it turns out we're not alone. So friends, I hope that you all will come and check out this is our new book. Starfish by Lisa Phipps. It's about a girl who struggles with her weight and all the things that go with that, including sadly some bullying and how she deals with that. This is a wonderful book written in poetry form. I hope you'll come and check it out. Wanted to show you guys some other books that I have for Pug Month. These aren't in the library, but if you want to come by and look at them, you can. This is one of my favorites, Pugs and Prejudice. Doug the Pug, of course, the most famous pug. And then we have some pug poetry, How I Eat This, a collection of pug poetry by Ink Pug. So if you guys want to come and glance at my pug books, you can come by the library and check them out. See you all later.